Oh, well, don't try to flex on me. It's impossible. Send pie confident in everything you do. Big mood, big big mood. Hand size, get it. We on sight. What's good, y'all? DMD does it here, and today I'm coming at y'all with a little 2K video. So this is my interior force. This was the very first player that I made with the finishing pie chart and pretty much six foot eleven got real good physicals for a big man and a real good speed for a big man and all this and that so like i mentioned on the um on my previous video was about the intimidated badge like all this it really don't matter so don't to be honest with you the intimidated badge is so overpowered like yeah, we, we don't have to go into discussion on how overpowered that damn badge is. Like, point blank, it's overpowered. And when you're going against other centers with like a 99 interior defense, 99 Ooh. block, 99 offensive and defense rebound, it's that like, shit, huh? yeah. what can I do with a 68 vertical? Like, my thing. six foot nine three level score is out rebounding seven foot three. Glass cleaning lockdowns, and this six foot eleven can't get up that with him. And it's actually it, it, it hurts me. It, it actually hurts me. So look at the badges. It's like back down punisher, drop step, you know it. It's damn near pointless to even go up under the rim when people have intimidated on Hall of Fame, right? So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm high key thinking about making another build because I miss dunking on people. I just miss dunking on people. Like honestly, let, let's be real. In the finishing department, all you need is contact finisher, fancy footwork, and slithery finisher. Everything else is just add-ons. Like like oh, none of this shit helped me. I mean, he still catch a lot of bodies. I ain't on. I ain't even on front on that. But I ain't played with this build in a minute. But when I, whenever I do play, whenever I did play on this build, I caught a lot of bodies. And then I got 11 playmaking badges. But the biggest downside is the defense. You know, like Intimidated and Interceptor, those are two big, two big badges that you really need when you're playing your defense. Like, Intimidated, obviously, you got to make a miss. Intercepted, as a big, like, everybody always risking a pass going by the center in this and all that. Because with my three-level score, it's on goal. And I just be snagging left and right. And as a matter of fact, I don't even have rebound chaser on my three-level score. And I bet you he could out-rebound this motherfucker. Damn! So, pretty much... Moral of this video, I'm about to make me another player. Because honestly, I don't see the purpose of having a six foot eleven and taller center on the court, to be honest with you, when a six foot eight, three level scorer can out rebound a seven foot three glass can like that. I don't see the point. I don't see it. So these the two bills that I'm thinking I'm I'm really considering on making. So right here this is the obviously finisher we're gonna go to edit build it's the finishing and the defensive pie chart so that's what the stats look like I'll go ahead and walk y'all through it so 88 77 87 88 you can see it 52 of course you can't shoot for shit i ain't tripping about that i'm trying to dunk on people 74 pass accuracy ball handle on 60 and if you don't know a slash or takeover boost your ball handle up by 10 so do the math on that and the defense this is the biggest thing for me coming from like a 70 offensive re and defensive rebound and interior defense that is big and i'm sure and i'm gonna be a whole lot more faster let's go Look at these physicals. Hold up. I just changed something. Speed. 76. Strength. 76. Vertical. 77. Acceleration. I ain't tripping about that. Like. 
I want your opinions down below 260, but this is the six foot nine. So 20 finishing badges, one shooting, seven playmaking. You don't really need that many playmaking badges if you're gonna be playing the three. 22 defensive rebounding badges. So let's go to the next player. So with this player, I got the choice to choose between four tickles. So what I did different, I made him six foot eight. Of course, I went with the, the same pie chart. And what I did different, I gave him a little mid-range. What I had knocked down, I knocked down the standing dunk. I knocked down the standing dunk. So instead of 20 finishing badges, I'll get 17 one shooting badges, but I I just want a little mid range just just in case you know they want to just sag off me and if I'm open for a mid a midi I can pop that. Then uh, eight playmaking badges and 22 defensive rebound. So I'm kind of stuck like like I need help on like what should I do? So actually the mid range is gonna be at like a 62. Uh, it's not too bad. It's, it's it's better than a fucking forty. I tell you that much. But y'all comment down below. It's a six. Is a sixty-two mid-range worth it, or should I just knock it down and just keep it the way I had it before? And like honestly, if y'all don't know about Laker fan, y'all really gotta check that video out. He break down all the takeovers. The slashers takeover is by far. The best takeover in the game. Y'all got to check that video out. It boosts so much shit by 10, you wouldn't even believe it. But, y'all comment down below, help me out. I'm high key thinking about making another build because I miss dunking on niggas and embarrassing them. So, yeah. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to remember, don't stop, keep grinding. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring my interior force out for a little bit and see how I feel about it. And I'm out.